OMG BBG! Welcome back to another Beyblade Burst Speedstorm video unboxing. So today we have this guy over here. What is that? Wow, this is so great. Like, what is this? <laughs> pretty much it's a starter uh, set, so it comes with a launcher, but it's pretty much like a recolored version of random parts mixed together that Hasbro always decides to come up with. Um, it's not as cool as like the random boosters from Takeru Tomi, but the equivalence of the random booster nonetheless. So yeah, we have kind of a mix of uh, random colors. This is the World Evil Helios H6 combo. Um, so there are some good things about this bay, don't get me wrong, but um, it's also a very boring release. Don't click out of the video yet though, watch the whole thing. So um, before we get started with this, make sure you guys just subscribe and click on the bell notification icon so you guys don't miss the next video. Also check us out on Instagram at Geek Dosage and on TikTok at Babel Geeks Official. Yeah, so it's still got some pretty good parts in here, so don't So yeah, it's kind of random, so let's take a look at the back of the box to see what kind of parts we get exactly. Um, seems like the theme here is all green. Which is, it's a not bad of a color, but give us like a real release with that color scheme. I'd like that. Hmm, like with... Like uh, Kukulkin or something, you know, like that was a nice color. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is just a recolored version of like your World Spryzen's world layer. You have the evil... Helios H6 Storm Chip, right? So that actually makes your bay left spinning. So this is a left spin combo. Um, well, we also get D60 as the regular disc, and then TSP09-M. So I'm very excited for this one actually, because this is the only other way to get the TSP09-M other than Triumph Dragon or the Showdown Battle Set, which is like super expensive. So uh, if you just want this metal tip, you know, we're all about that metal and Speedstorm blesses with some parts are metal, right? Just look at that beautiful metal piece. I also think if it's on sale, then possibly you can go and grab this. Um, I can just stare at this base design right now and just the, the look of it. I can just see this being on sale. <laughs> it's probably already on sale. I can see this sitting on the shelves for a very long time. Yeah, like why um, would you pick this over like, you know, the like combos a, you see in an anime? Like a dedicated yeah, release, right? exactly. From the anime. But yeah, once again, like if you don't have some of these parts, why not? So yeah, let's open it up and look at everything. We get so excited every single time we have to cut something for an unboxing. We can use this carbon fiber pocket knife from The Ridge. So you guessed it. This video is brought to you by The Ridge. Huge shout out to the Ridge Wallet for sending out these amazing wallets for us to check out. They look super sleek and I'm honestly super impressed by the materials. It holds a bunch of cards and has a modular design and is backed by the lifetime warranty. They also got some super sick special designs like this forged carbon fiber and the 18 karat gold plated wallet. There's currently a holiday sale happening right now so if you use the code OMGBBG on the site, you can get 15% off until December 7th. If it's right for you, definitely go and check out the Ridge Wallet. That's how you not destroy your box. Beautiful cuts, clean. All right, so you got the bay, you got the launcher, you got the ripcord, pretty standard stuff. I'm at least feeling the color though. Like the parts are kind of mad, but the color though, like that mint green, I'm all for it. Looks really? Good. I like it. It is kind of exciting though, cause this is another way to get a world ring. Right, other than World Surprise in. So yeah, you got that going for you. It's very circular. We'll take all the parts out and show you the whole bay. I feel like we've gotten like a hundred of these light launchers from Hasbro. Does Hasbro do like a plastic recycle program where I can trade in like 50 of these for a string launcher or something like that? For real, that would be so great. All right, let's take a look at the breakdown of this bay, World Evil Helios H6. Yeah, it's so round. Like World Spriggan was probably like the most round Spriggans around for a little bit there. Mm -hmm. And then with the Evil Helios H6 chip, this one makes it a left spin, but you can actually change up the storm chip to make it right spin too. Because if you look at the back of that uh, ring, it gives you the little marking on left spin or right spin. So it depends on which chip you use. And then just like with any Hasbro bays, um, they kind of took away some features. This is now way more hollowed out compared to your Takeratomi counterpart. And also no chassis system, like with World Spriggan from Takeratomi. And then we have the outer disc, that's the Keratomi name for it, but in the Hasbro name is D60. This is probably the worst part in the combo, straight <laughs> up. It's so old, man. 
Yeah, it's an older disc. Um, it's very circular though. So shape-wise, it's kind of like the world ring. And the weight distribution is also very even. And then the last part we have here, this performance tip, we have the Speedstorm TSP09-M. So this is also known as the Metal Charge Driver. With Speedstorm, they're really trying to make their gimmick pretty much just making the bay taller, right? So that's by increasing the height of the driver. So with this uh, Hasbro part, you have a taller driver of the charged metal. It's a metal hole flat tip pretty much, and it's very bulky. Okay, here's the code, we just scanned it in, and now we have the bay in the Hasbro Beyblade Burst game. Uh, so yeah, Speedstorm top, nothing too special. Break it down, World Evil Helios H6, D60, and TSP09M. And then when you put the Speedstorm bay together, look at that height, and look at the gaps. All right, test spin time, three, two, one, let's Look at it go. Whoa. That was a great launch by me, you know, landing in uh, in the pocket there. And the metal charge is a little unstable. Yeah. Jumps around a little bit. I yeah, I think it'll be pretty fun to use in stadium though. It'll probably move really quickly. All right, let's do it. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Look like jumping too. Also oh, he's close. I'm good. You took out the version that doesn't have the metal performance tip. All right, switching yeah. out the bay. But I'm trying to prove myself that just because you're in the anime doesn't mean you're better. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Yo. Hey. Another burst. The fake 2D right. chassis. I changed my mind, guys. Buy this bay at regular price. <laughs> this is the best bay ever. <laughs> Three, Three, two, two one. one. Think, Still lost. I think I took, yeah, I took that one, right? Three, two, two one. one. Yo, I'm beating everybody so far. <laughs> Especially this uh, valve trick is like, oh, so bad. Oh, yo, that streak though. All right, everybody needs to get to Spain now. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Pretty decent stock parts, not gonna lie. Hey! Oh, driver's so round. That life after death. So easy to regain spin. All right, so that's the end of the unboxing. Honestly, performance-wise, it's actually pretty good. So, um, obviously with the colors and just like the random combo not featured in the anime, it's just one of those bays that are just forgettable. You know, like you go to the store, you're not gonna be really looking for this bay. But maybe who knows, because I just beat out like six bays in a row, maybe now it's actually more memorable. It's a you dust collector store, still, in my opinion. Yeah, dust collector. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, it's probably gonna go on sale, I feel, like one of these bays, so look out for it. If it's like five bucks, why not, right? Add another number to your collection, right? So it's maybe one of the bays that you won't touch, but still there just to uh, make a collection bigger and bigger because you always want a bigger collection, right? But yeah, um, that's it for this unboxing. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, overall, I'm kind of digging it. It's growing on me, but I think next week I'll forget about it. So yeah, like the video, subscribe, and as always, Geek's out!